Hello, so in this example let's try to modify foundation properties. Okay, so let's activate Revit and in here you can see some foundations are created. So the main task is to modify geometry parameters, to modify material parameters and to modify all other descriptive parameters of my foundations. So if I select any of foundations, so first I should check if all my parameters in the instance parameter type is correct. Uh, so from here I see I don't need, I don't have any uh, additional settings to change. Maybe I can write, um, put some mark, image or, or, or some comments about my foundations. Uh, next part, go to a D type and first you should rename uh, your foundation type so you can see all the information about uh, your foundation from your name. So from here I see my thickness is 300. So let's say my standard foundation slab 300 and also let's say I want concrete material. So from here I see HS standard foundations 300 thickness and I have my material is concrete. So I go in these settings, I change material to the concrete. So from here I can select additional libraries and I can type concrete. And program gives me shows what kind of materials is inserted in my project and what kind of materials are in, in other libraries. So I can see results here. So let's say for my, my project uh, I will use just simple concrete uh, and I press OK. Next part, I can change some course parameters, uh, I can change uh, analytical properties, uh, they depend mostly from the selected materials, and identity data, so you should implement what uh, are the manufacture of your foundation, if you use uh, foundation blocks or foundation uh, walls, other types, special types of foundations. So you should also implement all this information in this area. Okay, next uh, I will try to change some parameters of my pile foundation. So from pile foundation you can also see I have uh, some additional information. So in type properties I see uh, what is the, is the pile cap number what is the pile number, what is the length of my pile, and what are the main dimensions of my pile cap. Next, in here I can select which piles I would like to use in my project. So from here, GP3, GP3, so it means I should use this one, this type. If I want, I can create additional types and I can change parameters. So I can change dimensions and from here I can modify and change all the settings. I can put the link to the company which will make foundations and other other additional parameters. And the material, I can change it from here. I can select and let's use the same concrete. Like I used for my slab concrete. And from here you see colors are the same with my slab. Also I can select this wall foundation and do the same stuff, change name, uh, put parameters uh, and also change the name of material. If you know exact name you can just type here and you don't need to open additional tables and it will catch this material from here and it will implement it for your project. 
for wall foundations and sometimes it doesn't represent the correct material settings so you see it's dark gray and this is uh, not so dark like other objects but if i open i have the same concrete material so you need also check the shadows when you create if all the settings of material are correct and uh, you see the same material in all the shadows if not so you need maybe modify uh, type or, or other parameters of, of your whole foundation.